seismic faults produce deadly levels of carbon monoxide in California and elsewhere, not just California. People may have trouble breathing. They may feel tired and notice that their skin has taken on a bright red appearance. And all of these are signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. This is by Sean Altaba to buy News Punch. Uh, now at the end of the video, I'll have the live tracker you can see the carbon monoxide uh, not only in California, but we have it in uh, uh, New Jersey, around the Great Lakes, uh, Mexico, Oklahoma, te Texas, and you'll see that later on. But uh, first, let's continue with our the uh, news concerning this. Deadly, unprecedented levels of this carbon monoxide are being released into the atmosphere across the west coast of America and is due to the unusual activity on the seismic faults. The scientists have yet to confirm the cause, but experts suggest that the Earth may be emitting this dangerous gas from seismic fault lines. There are, of course, cracks in the Earth's surface where tectonic plates rub against each other. People across the coast, the west coast, including California, may have trouble breathing, feeling tired, and noticing that their skin takes on a bright red appearance. And all these are signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. Superstation on Defy reports, if levels continue to rise as they presently are, people could be overcome and pass out, and of course could be fatal from all this. Um, as of, uh, in the Eastern United States time, uh, at that time this report was made, there's no other place on the entire planet with carbon monoxide levels this bad or this widespread, and it's completely unprecedented. And now we go to the, uh, I'll leave you a link for the live uh, levels of carbon monoxide, Earth Null School, school. and let's take a look at it now. Okay, so here we are, this is Google Earth. And I just wanted to keep an eye. This is Great Salt Lake here. And we'll see it um, here as well. This is on our map. It shows the carbon monoxide. This is California, of course. And this is Great Salt Lake right there. Uh, Yellowstone is around here. And this is the, the various recent quakes swarms that we've been having in Colorado. Let's go back to the, this is Great Salt Lake here, and this is Colorado right there. This is the Dodsero Volcano, Colorado, where we had recent swarm, quake swarms. This is Long Valley, the Pisgah Crater. Let's go back now. This is where we have a lot of activity here. We've had a, a tremendous amount of uh, quakes there lately. Uh, I don't know if I have my quake map opened. Yes, I do. Go to that. Here we are. That's the area there that we're talking about. The blue is the, uh, today's quakes. These are today's quakes. Okay, this is around Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and you have, of course, uh, quakes around the um, this area here, which is a volcanic area of the Salton Sea. And all this, of course, shows up in our in our map. This is the area here that's been very active lately. Okay, this is Great Salt Lake, as we said, and this is the Colorado swarms and volcanic area. Yeah, Colorado has a lot of volcanoes as well. And this Texas, Texas here, and New Jersey here. Okay, PP, 670 PPBV, and this is 708 PPBV. Let's go here, 215 
But this is pretty strong, as you can see. 827 in New Jersey. Where is that? 849 here. And of course, inside this area, 554. So this shows you, okay, the, I don't think it has, uh, oh, it has, okay, now let's go see, look at this thing here in Africa. Africa. 713, that's pretty high too. 747. And a tremendous amount here in the Himalayas. And they're expecting a, a that's a, a subduction zone, of course, and they're expecting a big quake there. And, of course, this thing here, let's see, is 2,107. 2,107. Um, this is our USGS map. Now, if we go back, sorry, this is too much. Go back, Himalayas, let's go to the Himalayas. Uh, well, unfortunately, the USGS does not show all the earthquakes, it shows very few. And this is the China area that we have the tremendous amount here. This is the Korean Peninsula. Let's go back. That's the Korean Peninsula. That's around the Beijing area. And that's where we have our tremendous 284. Amazing. That's really big. I don't think I have more. I, I don't think I have a better map to show you concerning. Let's see, take, take a look here. Okay, now this is the past hour. 4.4 magnitude, and this is the Himalayas. And again, we don't have. Uh, any earthquakes here, but uh, there's some, obviously, must be uh, chemical man-made that all this here is there, is, is uh, I don't know, I really don't know, if you, if you know which, and that's pretty high too, okay, uh, unless there's a quake coming and we don't know about it, now let's go to Papua New Guinea, let's see what's happening here, because we've had a tremendous amount of activity here as well. Around here, we don't see anything, unless you don't have any readings there. And Australia is pretty pretty clean. Okay, that's pretty clean. Now, well, they don't have Antarctica. It's not even in the activity zones. You don't cover that, obviously. And okay, they don't cover that. Let's take a look. Be patient. So the map comes on again. Let's get the map coming on again. Okay, it's on. Maybe I went down too fast. Sorry about that. Okay, there's Antarctica now. Okay. Okay, there's nothing. It's clean clean. And let's go back up. Back up, back up. This is Australia. And this is pretty clean. Indonesia. And we said this was, of course, the Himalayas. The whole area of the Himalayas, as you can see, is pretty high. And this is it right here. As we said, Papua New Guinea, 
Indonesia, quakes are very active. And Terrell uh, Black Star says he's expecting a big one there. Uh, massive, that is, uh, that is over seven and a half uh, magnitude to nine magnitude. And as we said, USGS does not show all the quakes, as you can see here, what the difference is from this map to this map. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately they don't record everything. They don't report everything, even though there's records of thousands of quakes that take place every day. Okay, I'll leave a link below for you so you can see this. This is fantastic. This is on Earth Null School. A chemistry surface level overlay. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.